to Wellness Wednesday today on SVI Media, sponsored by Star Valley Health. And today I'm talking with Troy Bailey. He is a registered dietitian with Star Valley Health. And Troy, today we're talking about the effects of COVID-19 on those with diabetes. Tell us what you know and uh, what the research has shown up to this point. You know, one of the things we're seeing regarding COVID-19 and diabetes is that diabetics, they're not necessarily at a greater risk for contracting COVID-19, but they are at a greater risk for having more severe symptoms and serious complications. So for those with diabetes, you know, those constant reminders of what we've been trying to do for the last several months of washing our hands, wearing our masks, maintaining social distancing are all very real issues that diabetics face and things that we need to focus on for that community. And Troy, as uh, as the pandemic has gone on, we hear this this term quarantine 15. Have you seen that to be an actual thing uh, throughout this with those that you work with? You know, the quarantine 15 really has been a real thing over the last couple months. Um, I've had a lot of patients that, you know, as we talk during our weight loss consults, it's like, Weight gain's been a real issue for a lot of Americans this year. During the quarantine, um, during the pandemic in general, we've been stuck at home more. We've had gyms that have been closed. We've been, um, our diet patterns have changed. It's like, there's been so many factors related to health and weight that have changed over the last three to six months that a lot of people have gained weight. You know, some doctors say they've seen an average of three to 15 pounds. Other doctors have generally have seen, you know, as much as 15 to 30 pound weight gains in some individuals over the course of these last three to six months. So I think the combination between being stuck at home, not being able to go outside and exercise as much as we like to, gyms being closed, deteriorations in diet patterns and things like that have really all contributed to weight gain over the last three to six months for a lot of Americans. And Troy, do you think that's uh, also contributed in any way to to what's called diabetes burnout or the stress of of COVID-19 with the mental health crisis and and maybe uh, becoming harder and harder for those, especially those with diabetes? You know, this is definitely a harder time for those with diabetes right now. This whole pandemic, you know, it has added a certain level of stress, anxiety, depression, financial issues, disruption to routines, all of which can be, you know, detrimental to diabetes management and have serious impact on diabetes management. You know, those diabetics that are experiencing high levels of stress are less likely to eat well. I mean, stress eating, emotional eating is a real thing that all Americans face. Um, The more stressed we are, the less compliant we're likely to be with our medication management. Um, Throughout this pandemic, we've also seen a delay in people obtaining health care, people that have put off going to the doctors, that have put off um, their annual wellness checks, their lab checks, and things like that. And all of those issues compounded really can affect diabetes management. Today for our Wellness Wednesday, we're speaking with Troy Bailey, a registered dietitian at Star Valley Health. Uh, Troy, speaking of healthy eating, uh, the holidays are upon us, right? Halloween coming up, and then, of course, uh, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and the New Year. Uh, What's your recommendation for those with and without diabetes heading into the holidays? You know, the mantra I've always gone with for holidays is maintain, don't gain. So just do your best to maintain a healthy body weight, maintain the weight that you're at, and just avoid adding that extra 5 to 10 pounds that a lot of Americans gain over the holiday season. A lot of people tend to take the holidays, you know, like you mentioned, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, as kind of an opportunity to enjoy the the treats of the season all season long. And when we're having a lot of those extra sweets on a daily basis, it really can be problematic. There's nothing wrong with having a piece of pie on Thanksgiving. There's nothing wrong with having grandma's cinnamon buns on Christmas and enjoying a little bit at New Year's. But keep your... Um, Keep your eating discretions to to that day. Enjoy the holiday, but try to eat healthy the other days as well. Again, for our Wellness Wednesday today, we are with Troy Bailey and Star Valley Health. Uh, Troy, as we continue through COVID-19, uh, telehealth options have become very popular with what you do, with uh, especially working with those with diabetes, who you mentioned can, can at times have more severe symptoms of COVID-19. Uh, do you offer telehealth through what you do? And uh, maybe tell us more about uh, diabetes education and things offered through Star Valley Health. Yes, for those that 
for whatever reasons, may not feel comfortable coming to the hospital setting if they have concerns about contracting COVID-19, telehealth is a wonderful option that Star Valley Health has been able to add. I've used it in my practice several times and have had great success with it. And it's one thing that we actually look forward to growing in the future. And we can provide diabetes education via telehealth. That's Troy Bailey, registered dietitian with Star Valley Health, sponsoring our Wellness Wednesday on SVI.